Hey, what's up, 10th grade? It's Miss Mac. I'm here to go over your slides this week for the informative podcast. Let's do this, and I'll give you guys some feedback on your narrative one as well, because so far, those are awesome, and I'm enjoying listening to them. All right, cool. So um, if you haven't turned in your narrative podcast yet, no worries. I'll take it late. Um, it takes me a while to grade them anyway, so you're no rush. Um, all right, so here's the basic criteria for week two, but again, I'm being pretty flexible. So four to 10 minutes, um, because a lot of people give me feedback that they're, they wanted their podcast to be longer, which is fine. I don't think anyone went over 20 minutes so far. It's cool with me. All right, the source this week can be your own personal experience and knowledge again, or you're welcome to research out from outside sources or conduct an interview. Some of you did like an interview format last week and it really successfully, they were fun. And then it's due Friday with your outline. And again, I'm not taking any points off during distance learning. Okay, cool. So again, here's a rough agenda. If you need help planning, go over everything Monday, no more podcast logs. Tuesday have office hours. I would say listen to some of the sample ones I post, start outlining, researching. Wednesday and Thursday is a good time to practice, revise, edit, and then go ahead and turn it in or share it with me on Friday. So far, so good. Here's some model ones. So this uh, series, Stuff You Should Know, the one I picked was Why Does Time Speed Up As You Age? Which I swear like really does happen. And then again, here are the Carl Mont High School student samples on the Google Sites page that my old coworker provided if you want to look at any of those. Um, again, kids your age, so it's cool. Here are just some ideas. These are also on the directions. If you're stuck, you could do any or something completely different. So again, one way to do it, kind of like the last one is, uh, the sample one, sorry, is to pose a question and then answer it in your podcast. It can be more educational or informative in that you're like teaching us a skill. It could be cooking something. It could be a hobby you have if you can juggle or I don't know whatever you want feel free it could be totally fun interactive if you want to add a visual element to that awesome I already have I have one visual podcast so far that I will put up for your viewing pleasure on the course website but that this could be a way to integrate that if you want or if you just want to do voice that's fine too some people ask me if they could take what they looked up for their research paper and turn it into a podcast. And that's such a great idea because you've already done the research. Like, why not? I should have suggested you do that with your narrative too, like based on your um, graphic novels in the fall. But yeah, use that information you already have, restructure it to teach us about your topic. That sounds fantastic. I was thinking even it could be like an AP exam review for the world history exam or the biology exam if you wanted, where you could like focus on a, a confusing topic that you all have to know and review. And you could do like a short podcast about that, like breaking it down for people, especially if you know that you're pretty strong in that area. Obviously, you need to be careful because if you teach your classmates incorrect information, then that's not cool. Um, but that could be a way to kind of study and do your work for English. I'm cool with that. And if you want to help, let me know. Uh, just some tips. Again, some of you are really liking the more narrative format. That's fine. Like you can learn things through stories. Um, so it can be more of a factual narration. Like I think of like nature shows, right? Where they like teach you about lions, let's say, but they like follow a family of lions. They're like, oh, Simba is going to get water and here's his friend, whatever. So it's like you're following the story of one family of lions, but like you're learning about lions in general. So like that's kind of like factual narration or like a way that you can teach through a story. That would be cool. And I would just recommend like to keep track of any sources that you use. You don't necessarily have to cite them in the podcast. Like if you heavily relied on a source that you feel like you need to give a shout out to, that's fine. But just make sure you put it in your outline for me. And if you're working with a partner, balance your speaking time. And just, it could be a little longer. That's fine. So far, everyone's been doing really well with that. All right. So I've listened to all of third periods podcast at the time I'm making this video and a couple of fourth if you worked with a partner and I'm really impressed so far not only because you're doing this during distance learning but some of them are legitimately really good and super slick I love it um so here's just like my notes so far if you you need help or just want to know how everyone's doing so anchor so far everyone who's used anchor it's been really seamless and professional it's easy to share it with me so if you're still looking for a way to record, I would recommend Anchor if you can use it on your computer. Um, but everyone else has sent it to me without a lot of trouble and I've been able to listen to all of them. That's totally fine. Um, all the episodes, like 
even if they were really conversational, clearly had been like prepared and outlined and maybe even rehearsed. So no one seemed like they were just like winging it. Um, they all looked great. Some of you even added in like cool music effects or like other features and that was so awesome. Um, or like the ones, those of you who work together and like kind of interviewed each other, that was super cool and really engaging. I am already working on like a course podcast website on Google sites where like the sample one from Carl Juan, if you've looked at that and it looks awesome so far, I'm so excited to share it with you guys. So some of you I've already emailed and asked, or I put a comment when I give you feedback on your podcast, my, asking if you wouldn't mind sharing it with the students. I'm not going to like necessarily make it super public, but I'll, I'll share the link on Google Classroom for now and I'll update it as we do this. So um, let me know if you're okay with it, me, me sharing it with your classmates. Some of you told me already like, no, I don't want to share it, and that's fine. Um, and then if you do want to have it shared, something to keep in mind is some of you don't have a series title, that's fine. But like, for example, Suzelle's, hi Suzelle, it's called The Weekly or Jose's is like, what is it, the Anton Brothers, because he's doing it with his friend Anton. Um, so some of you already do have names, otherwise I just like made a name up for your series. Same with like episodes titles, I'll just call it episode one or episode two, but if you have a specific title, hit me with it. Um, or if you have like a picture that you want to use for me to use for like the icon, then you can send me that too. And when I send you the link, if you want me to change anything on the website, like the descriptions or the blurbs, then I'm, I'm happy to do that. But so far it looks really professional. And I'm so proud of you guys. You're doing such a great job. Keep it up. Let me know if you have any questions. Office hours are Tuesdays and Thursdays. Here comes a bunch of sirens down York Boulevard. So it's a good time to sign off. Oh my God. Keep doing the daily Mac challenges, guys. You're the best. Have a good week. Bye.